What's going on y'all? It's Rob with Cinema Bullies. Today I'm at the Razor's Edge compound over at Dave Wilson's house in Virginia. I'm gonna walk you through privately through his new dog compound and show you a little bit of the premises around the ABKC president's home. And let's go take a walk. house is on 40 acres of land very nice setup very clean can't even tell he has a dog here um, beautiful barn style facility um, blacked out I like the black look it's dope very nice um, has all nice stamped uh, concrete going all the way up looks great The infamous razor's edge decor. I like this. Dave might have to send me one of these. <sighs> it's dope. They got the dog knocker. All right, let's take a walk in. So we got some, everything in this building is brand spanking new. He's been building this for a little bit over two years due to COVID. Too nice, very, very nice. Looks like seven by seven um, dog areas. Um, they got the little gates to go outside doggy doors to the outside run area, which I believe is, um, looks like six by 20 feet long for each dog. Very nice setup. Got the raised dog bowls. Everything's secured. Everything's real sturdy. Very nice. This is something that I like to have one day myself. Very, very beautiful. Um, got a nice bathroom with a dog grooming center, which is essential when you have dogs. Don't hurt your back. And it's beautiful. Nice work. Everything is. Uh, Brand new, still under construction, still has a couple more finishing touches to do, but it's almost complete. Razor's Edge decor everywhere, another dog area, another one, another one. Yes, yeah, three right here. TVs for the dogs. Um, this is water, actually. This cleans the dog areas inside. Uh, in here we have a room that's still under construction, but it has you know shelving for the dog food, um, for any type of vaccines, dewormers, whatever he needs, whatever clean supplies he needs for this area. And then I stumbled across a uh, some memorabilia from you know Mr. Wilson's days of uh, some of the finished product products of his vision of Razor's Edge. It looks like it fell during construction and cracked the glass, but definitely uh, very cool. All right, we'll take a walk to the other side. Mind you, this is uh, bigger than most people's, well, not most people, but some people's houses. It's a very nice facility. So you come in here, this is his office, some memorabilia, um, some Demon Boy pictures, which um, I'm assuming that's his favorite dog. And he's beautiful. I, I like black dogs, Demon Boy is one of my favorites. We got plaques. And in here we have a welcoming room, which it's a very nice welcoming room. Um, has ventilation, has heated lamps. Uh, the floor actually heats itself. It has heating strips in it, I believe. And this is some type of um, rubber epoxy 
that they pour onto the floors and it's very nice, it has a very good grip. He has all type of, you know, he has his thermostats in here to control and monitor humidity and temperature in this room. But it's a very, very nice welcome room. And it's right by where you can sit down and relax and get done whatever he has to get done throughout his day. Um, we got a beautiful fish tank. You know, the sound of the fish tank is always relaxing, especially in an office setting. We got TVs. Let me come out. To his lounge area for when he has guests over or if he just wants to hang out, you know, all stamped concrete. Nice lounge area. This is where we did the interview. We come out here. We got another seating uh, area. And then the turf for the dogs. He has turf everywhere. It looks great. And turf, in my opinion, is the way to go. It's just very, very um, convenient, easier to clean, easier to maintain. And you don't gotta worry about the dogs digging it up. And then over here we have the runs. He has two up right now, or three up, three, or two up, and then another one going up, and then he has three more coming right here. I believe he's just waiting on supplies. Um, then we come down here to the dog lounge slash play area. And it's mostly turf. And then he has some, you know, dirt, grass, but mostly turf, keeps everything uh, more cleanly. Definitely a beautiful setup for dogs. Um, can't really ask for more for somebody that uh, enjoys having dogs and wants them to enjoy their life. They got some exercise stuff, some stacking stuff to work with dogs. Uh, got the nice tug rope set up, which is awesome. A lot of these dogs like to tug rope, especially when they got to drive in the game. Um, but this is beautiful. So I hope you guys like what you see. I um, hope you guys understand this is what everybody should be striving for. Um, you know, for all of us, it's not possible, but this is something that similar that you guys should um, invest your money, not only in yourself, but into your dogs. If you want this to be your, your life or something that you want to do for a long period of time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I hope you guys, uh, got a better understanding of Dave and his mindset and what he's about still to this day, 30, 40 years in. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned. And like I said, thanks for Dave, or thanks to Dave for having me here, giving me the opportunity to interview him and see this beautiful compound. Thanks, guys. Take care.